we're going to give this a shot. Um, I'm hoping that this is working. I am not an amazing uh, tutorial maker in so far as video, so don't know how many of these will be video and how many of them will be uh, PDFs in the future. Um, first of all, I just wanted to um, show the difference between Howler 9 and Howler 10. If you'll notice, this is Howler 9 on this side, this is Howler 10. Most of the um, physical differences is in the tool bar right here. We've got the, um, in Howler 10, we've got the more Windows 10 um, flat tools. Howler 9 still has the dimensional and colored um, tools. The uh, next thing that's a, uh, that's a bigger difference between uh, the two is up here on the toolbar. Um, on Howler 9, again, you've got some colors. The preview, um, which allows you to preview your brushes over in Howler 10 is an eye instead of the words. The custom brush is um, here. It shows a little brush shape. Over here, it's just the ball. And then, of course, your regular brushes. Um, your um, transform, which allows you to make custom uh, brush transformations and whatnot. It says TR here. And over uh, here, it's uh, a little box. It doesn't want to uh, hover. Here we go. Uh, there we are. Trust custom brush transforms. So those things are the same um, between it. The other thing that's different is up here at the very uh, top. Here, this is for the swap buffer. We'll talk about it later. And their interactive undo, your zooms. And over here in Howler uh, 10, I'm going to have to make this bigger so that you can see. In Howler 10, we have some extra things up here. We can store the image and store a selection and uh, store um, brushes for further information, your undo, your redo, your do it again, and then the um, undo browser. Um, I can't show you that on this computer because it makes Howler crash in Windows 7, but it works great on my, uh, my laptop. Um, and then the swap buffer again. So these are the main differences insofar as the layout between Howler 10 and uh, Howler 9. So, um, for most of these, I'm going to be using Howler 10 um, because it has all the bells and whistles. So, that would be the best one to use. So, there's, um, I guess, the first part of the video. I'm going to check it out, make sure that that uh, is working okay. And if it is, then we will get started with the next part.